Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Schweitzner, and this is the lecture on steel making from the perspective of quantitative metallographic microstructure assessment for line pipe steels. A cool feature available on the Association for Iron and Steel Technology website, AIST, is this one called the steel wheel. And the idea of the steel wheel is starting with the iron ore, working your way through this wheel to the outer blue sphere and producing the products for the end user. So the idea behind the steel wheel is that you can cross these dotted lines, but you're not allowed to cross these solid lines. So there's a couple different products we're interested in. That's welded pipe and seamless pipe and tube. Okay, so how are we going to get from ore to seamless pipe and tube? You can see there's several different options. Uh, there's different processes you could use, but one hypothetical process would be to reduce the ore in the blast furnace to make the iron, and then work your way to the basic oxygen furnace for steel making and then alloy addition in the ladle metallurgy furnace, casting to make slab solidification, and then rolling those slabs into plates and forming and welding those pipes, or those plates into welded pipe. Then for seamless pipe and tube, we can envision a process where similar to the welded pipe, we start with the blast furnace, iron making, basic oxygen furnace, steel making, ladle furnace, alloying, but then we cast to a near net shape and then form two browns and use those two browns to form seamless pipe. So in this video, we're just looking at, at the inner rings of that uh, steel wheel, the iron making, steel making, and casting parts of the process on the way to make line pipe. And the idea of iron making is reduction of the iron ore. So what we're showing here is a uh, visual flow diagram for these processes. And then the idea of steel making, the second part here is removal of carbon and alloying. These that I'm circling here in orange are the uh, secondary refining aspects of steel making. And then the idea of casting is solidification. So we're going to talk about each of these, whether that's continuous casting or ingot casting. Iron making starts with a blast furnace typically where iron ore, coke, and slag materials are added through the top, the solid materials, and they are heated as the hot gases from the hot blast works its way the opposite direction in the blast furnace. And blast furnaces have been used for a long time. And so you have this diagram here where the various layers of the burden work their way down and the hot blast works its way up. And on the way down, two materials are produced. One is the metal that we want, the steel or the iron at this point. The other is the slag. Here we have an animation from the Association for Iron and Steel Technology showing where the solid material works its way down and the hot gases work their way up. Starting with the hot blast stove, going through the blast furnace, and then going to a dust collector for cleaning. And then out of the blast furnace, our products are 
the steel that we want and the slag that we don't want. Since this class is about microstructure, we're going to pause, pause several times throughout and talk about what the microstructure would look like if the steel at this point was rolled and processed to form line pipe. And so this is iron from the blast furnace. So the carbon content is still very high and there's still some impurities. So we would expect to see large areas of carbides and inclusions that might include uh, silicates and oxides. Now today we would probably not see these types of features in the microstructure, but over a hundred years ago, this microstructure could be found in some of the line pipes that were used to carry natural gas and other fluids.